Hi, friend. <laughs> oh, wait, let me. I'm very bad at multitasking, so I should be careful. <laughs> All right. Hi, friend. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So now that my time is freed up with my schedule opening, I have way more time to focus on my dissertation and my social media content and everything that I am building towards, right? So, of course, they would be where I'm going. <laughs> um, with this time that I have now to focus on my dissertation and my social media content, I've really been doing a lot of thinking about what it is I want to say and like what it is I want to spend my time doing. Like I really want to be intentional with what I'm saying, what kind of media I, what kind of media I'm consuming, what kind of media I'm putting out there, because. This is representative of who I am, right? That has also caused me to like really do an internal landscaping of who I am right now. Like, 
what who am I and what am I putting out here you know so that's what I've been figuring out and I've really gotten back to my authentic self I really feel like I'm back doing the things that I know I love and I have had so much fun rediscovering me and I'm so happy to have rediscovered me because that's what this 2023 year is all about you know really transforming and creating a life for myself and it all starts now like this is literally the beginning and in getting back to my authentic self I've realized that <laughs> it's been imperative that I spend quite some time alone like alone time has been so important in getting back to who I am because when I really take away <laughs> the third party that I am creating <laughs> and you know any when I'm not recording myself when I'm alone what do I do what do I want to do what do I choose to do do I spend my time <laughs> doing things like towards my goals do I spend time resting do I spend time talking to certain people what what do I do with my time and how is that contributing to myself and I really <laughs> wasn't getting that time with myself when i was out all the time last semester you know i feel like there is a lot of <laughs> conferences and parties and all of that and that's not alone time and it can get really easy to muddle up like what am i doing just to do and what do i really want to do so all this time alone to myself has really helped me get back to what i like to do for real you know what would i <laughs> What does a date with Kundal look like? Kundal room Kundal. It looks a lot like this, I'll tell you that. <laughs> alone on my walks working out cooking getting dressed <laughs> honestly just spending my whole day with myself and moving at my own pace really allows me to prioritize what I want to need I don't have to rush to meet anybody I don't have to rush to do something I don't have to arrive somewhere I don't want to be I can literally take my time schedule out things that I want to do and prioritize what I want I want to eat this I want to be in this place and that's imperative if you're going to really be yourself otherwise you're putting other people's wants and needs before you it's one of the pros of being a young single childless person okay don't nobody come before me but me And with my time being so much to myself and determined by me, it allows me to be with myself in the rawest form possible, in the most radically honest form possible. And that has been another big part of being intentional with my time and the creation of who I am, is this radical honesty. In order to be in alignment with my goals and move in a way that is going to keep me that is going to sustain those goals requires me to be radically honest with myself about what I am enjoying, about what makes me comfortable, about what makes me uncomfortable, about what I am doing and accomplishing, about what I am neglecting and not accomplishing. Radically honest about what I need. I need to be radically honest about what I want. And by radically honest, I mean stuff like, damn, I really don't enjoy going out in the cold after seven. So even though I would go here because people want me to, I'm not gonna go to this event. Radically honest means uh, honest about the fact that I need warmth in order to feel comfortable. So that means I need to bring a blanket with me or keep a jacket on me or keep a heater on me. Just being honest with yourself about what conditions make you comfortable, make you uncomfortable, what you need and don't need. And figure out how to incorporate those. How do I keep heat around me? How do I keep joy around me? How do I keep the things I need a part of my schedule so that I'm not neglecting what I truly desire while also 
be in alignment with my goals. So I've been incorporating more self-care into my routine and really cultivating a closet and an environment that brings me nothing but comfort and accessibility to any feeling that I might want. This also means being radically honest with yourself about when you need rest and when you need to recuperate and when you need to be still and similarly about when you need to go harder and when you need to be a little more on your P's and Q's. Just being radically honest with yourself is the only way to stay in alignment. Otherwise, you'll be living, you'll be living in a delusional reality and move in a way that is aligned with delusion and not creation and alignment. Get honest with yourself. That's what I've been doing, even though I be saying some stuff to myself sometimes, like, girl, I need to know all that, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. today I just finished today's to-do list I did all of my morning things earlier and I'm filming this video I finished my laundry that I still have to fold and I went through and read some of the papers I've been meaning to read my project is trying to model pain based on its relationship to sleep and medication so I've been doing more reading on the sleep pain drug connection trying to make our model more accurate going through the literature to see what support is in there for that so we can inform the model formulation better so i was going through reading those i read some papers from some team members on my research team and i also just went through and looked up extra literature on the topic about sleep pain drugs any of that all done with that <laughs> once i did the work of being honest with myself spending the time alone to really discover what I need. It became imperative that I really start to dilute any lessons or ways of being that no longer align with who I am. So I really have had to take the time to change the voice in my head from my caregiver's voice, my parents, my, my you know, social upbringing, the, you know, bullies and naysayers that are in your head that come and combat you whenever you have any, you know, uh, challenging thoughts and you just revert back to whatever you were taught I've really had to undo all of that just reverting to what I was taught this is just how I was raised and to really interrogate the way I was raised and if the way I was raised helped create me to who I wanted to be or if it harmed me and then what lessons harmed me are those lessons harming other people what lessons are valuable to me and align with what values I have now you know just really figuring out what should I take and what should I leave? Because I honestly personally feel as though we're born who we are and then we come into this world and our parents have an image of who they want us to be and the expectations they have for us. Society has a box that we're supposed to fit in. Our social friends have roles that they ascribe to us and we're just beat and beat and by beat, I mean sometimes literally and also, <laughs> you know, uh, emotionally and metaphorically, we're beat into these roles and these boxes and it takes a lot of uh, time, at least for me, until I got to this age to be able to finally fucking break that box and be like, hold on, wait, all of y'all put this shit on me. I didn't put any of this on me. I didn't want any of these roles. Or maybe I like that one, but I don't like that one. Or I uh, was really good at this one, so I'll do it sometimes, but that one doesn't apply to me at all. That's more your thing. 
just really taking all the stuff that was put on me I, and taking it off of me. Like I already was who I am when I was born, you know? And y'all started shaming me into this thing, but like I wanna take your additions off me and add on my own shit. So take off what I don't take me from them anymore and keep what's important and then continue to explore who I am, my authentic self. And find readings and theory and friendships and you know things that confirm and affirm the life that I want to have and support the life that I want to have. I just want to say that like some of the lessons that you had in your life very well may resonate with you. Like I'm not saying like fuck your parents don't listen to what they say. Not that at all. Simply just interrogate the way you were raised especially if you're over the age of 25 and I mean over the age of 18 really. <laughs> But if your brain has developed past 25, then now it's really, you should have already been thinking about this. Really just understand what you were raised, like what was not your thought first. Just take the time to figure that out first because we are all influenced by something, whether it be our parents, by a book, by an uh, experience, by a movie, by whatever. We're all influenced by something. If you think none of your thoughts are influenced by another person, get off the podcast. Get rid of anything that takes you away from love and uh, bring into yourself anything that brings you back to love love for yourself love for other people love for what you do love for being alive yeah What's really important <laughs> that's what's really important above all else I've learned to prioritize my pleasure and that has led me to being intentional with myself with my time and returning to who I really am and by prioritizing pleasure I of course mean prioritizing things prioritizing things that feel good by pleasure I mean it feels good it's comfort it's ease I prioritize things that make me feel happier that make my life easier and are in line with what I want. And by doing this, by having a pleasure-based mindset, by choosing actions and items and places and things that bring me pleasure or comfort or ease, I am aligning myself with everything that I desire. And it's easier to do the previous three things that I mentioned. Spending time alone, and being honest with myself and unlearning these things like all of these things are easier to do once I center my pleasure first like once I start at a place of pleasure and then I am navigate those other things it's easier to do because my comfort is what I am measuring up to am I being honest about what I am comfortable doing and I'm not comfortable doing have I been alone to do those things to see how that feels to take stock of that have i sat with you know feelings of laziness or imposter syndrome or unworthiness that may have been put on to me um or labels and, and identities that may have put on to me that i can release now that i know that they are not in alignment with who i am now that i know it brings me comfort i can move forward in actions and things that will bring me happiness and joy and then i can keep doing that every day and that's what I have been doing and I've never been more myself I've never been more comfortable creating content I've never been more comfortable sharing myself I've never been more comfortable creating connections because I have had such a clarity of self through these four things so I'm honestly just so excited to be here and I can't wait to continually figure out myself because I an authentic self isn't a destination I feel I will be returning to myself every day every month every year discovering myself finding new worlds and crevices in every corner of my being and i can't wait to explore those things with y'all and for y'all to explore those things with me 
I hope when you're watching my channel, you get to see my authentic self and vibe with me in all that I am. My me loves dancing and lifting and cooking and talking about complex problem solving and organization and dirty talk and breaking taboo subjects and wearing clothes that make me feel sexy and um, I mean really the list goes on and on and on like I am discovering more and more who I am and I want to share all of those many many facets with each of you and uh, Continue to do the things that bring me joy, and I hope you do the same and I'll see y'all in my next video Bye friends